time. I don't know. I think most of the plants I'm playing this dungeon. <laughs> I'm in a kind of bad period because we can get some, some fights with, with my wife. Which is absolutely normal, by the way. I don't think that when you are in a relationship you can skip them. But this time it was cause the unwanting from her to, to just because we are, we are talking about different topics and from time to time she is like I don't wanna go in that topic, I don't wanna go this and it wasn't a very difficult topic, I was just making some statements and I wanted to to hear a second opinion etc etc because that did this that there's a very very important topic topic nowadays happening with between me and a friend from a long ago. Concentrate once again. Reconcentrate <laughs> while talking. Um, but yeah, so um, it, it, it's about now he chose to like surely um, get education in Western Europe and in a matter of fact the objective reality is that first of all I'm still learning more than him and that could change eventually but even if it does even if it does now he's a man of science I'm an entrepreneur plus a man of science god I also am going for the PhD very soon plus I, I actually got four um, educational degrees um, two ba bachelor and two uh, master's degrees and uh, I'm kind of like an academic person uh, not entirely but yeah, I never wanted to I, I didn't, didn't think that uh, much of a reason to, to go for the PhD in uh, economical sciences and that's my main you know sort of science <laughs> so yeah I didn't find I really didn't find any uh, worth in that but now with the gamification I think I'm more open to that um, kind of like idea I can entertain that idea and I am and I'm most probably going there but that's not the problem now if we have to be precise in Bulgaria, because it's a more decentralized country, and there are many, many business opportunities. For the business, Bulgaria is actually a good country. Uh, I would say, if you, uh, you have been, if you are born in Western Europe, it will be a very wise idea to, to move to Bulgaria, or at least to make a chapter here. Uh, but when you are born here, it's a little bit different cause. Really, you got a little bit uh, lesser chances because Bulgarians are not so much and no, there are many poor people here so um, they don't have much purchasing power which is a problem, you know, in many ways. And to get to the main topic now, uh, let's first position ourselves. Let's switch out. Um, and okay. Some time. So let's say um, I would say Bulgaria and Western Europe is not very, very. Uh, it's kind of similar nowadays because it was very much worse here, but nowadays it is very similar. I would say it, it's nearly the same. You know, um, we are here. most of the Bulgarian people have um, like a little bit uh, less income, like in salary terms. But like I said, it's it's better for freelancing. It's better. Oh my God! Oh my God! No! 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 Yeah. Um, anyway, we didn't die. That's, that's, that's something. That's something. So. 
Ya. Um, mental save. Oh my god. Uh, and also, uh, I would say it's very similar to, to most of the European countries. And I have been in, I have even lived a little bit in many, many um, European countries, like not more than like six months in Ireland, I have been around uh, six months. In Germany, I have been around six months uh, visiting friends and having some work, some business with them, but uh, mainly to like see each other um, so as yes, as entrepreneurs we were uh, making some graffiti here and there um, making some hip hop music and our pages just for fun all that kind of stuff uh, friendship uh, fueling as I say and now on the more important thing is um, I haven't seen much of a difference and I prefer Bulgaria. I'm born here, um, I'm speaking the language like it, it's my uh, mother's language. Uh, I'm, I'm actually making all my work. Uh, I'm preferring to make some of my work in Bulgarian and it's it is like a, a nice language also, I like it. So, I like English also, but you know, I don't feel um, obliged to, to, to always use only English or other Western language. No, a little bit. German, Deutsch. <laughs> but it, I'm rarely using it because it, it, it doesn't come to that. Now, we got our differences because some people are, are like, no, you have to actually uh, move to Europe. It's it's all in another Western Europe country. I mean, uh, it's so much better there, etc., etc. But for for the business, I have observed it, except Ireland, where from from the countries where I have been, except Ireland, I think um, it's one of the better countries for business or at least I'm born here I have some passive income from um, which I can practically use everywhere around the world but um, hmm. um, but it's based here so it's easier for me to like here and I have no problem with it and now uh, th this guy is like always talking about the, the differences between Bulgaria and the other countries of course it, it's his thing he, he thinks like if you move to Western Europe uh, it will be much better but actually nowadays he's not uh, making much more than uh, a sophisticated science uh, like he worked in CERN is uh, like the quantum quantum physics um, physics um, you know part of the science um, and molecular physics etc etc uh, so uh, is this the right term if I'm, if I'm being uh, a little bit wrong about this, sorry, about the, the, the right terminology, but it's not actually my feel, so yeah, you can imagine. Um, so, actually, it's very cool, but he's not even earning so much money. He, he, he has a net profit from his salary of around, around let's say, net profit of around um, after he pays his rental it's, it's around 2,000 oil which is not significantly great I have most of my friends here are making more than that or at least can compete to that which is like if I have to be precise scientists here are making um, much less money because the science is not paid here 
uh, very well in Bulgaria. But also, if you um, uh, participate in projects, you can also, even from science, you can make good money. Most of the scientists here are uh, working as something else, also have second profession other than science. And it's not a good thing, but I understand that if you if you are a pure scientist, it, in Bulgaria is not a very good country. But the thing is, uh, he's always like about talking about that, um, making um, these statement, uh, st statements of uh, Bulgaria being so much different and like, but, but the very, uh, the, the thing I can totally disagree with because I have been in most European countries, like I, as I have told you already. Like, uh, maybe I haven't been in, in, in like 12 of them, Slovakia is one of them, so I don't think I have missed so much. I mean, I would visit, of course, but I mean, it's not a fundamental, like, even it's closer to Bulgaria, and I don't think it, it will be, it will change my mind in uh, any term. I think it is very, like, um, it, it's very, in, in all of the Europe is very close to, to like, um, Nowadays, like to Bulgaria, Romania, Serbia is a bit, a little bit different, I guess. But it, it, the, the the standard is not so it, it's not dramatically different. You can very uh, comparable. So he's always comparing it, but um, he's on that opinion that practically uh, the, the, the 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 difference is so um, so big that. It, it, it's not worth living here. But on the other hand, like I'm telling you, if I, for example, move to Europe now, I will have another five years uh, till I can get to the income I'm having here. Because I have to adapt to the um, economical climate, etc., etc. For example, uh, it's just understand. I wouldn't do that. If, I, if I'm moving somewhere, it will be the US. USA. Never, never to Europe. I, I would never do that. Even uh, I would entertain, um, for example, J Japan, but never to Europe. Um, I wouldn't do that. Western Europe is, is worse than Bulgaria in many ways, and I, I don't actually like it. Maybe Ireland, literally Ireland, and Scotland, because I, I got family there. Uh, it, it is really um, a, a very, like, we are very um, far cousins because practically my, my, my grand 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 grandfather is from Scotland literally and he, he was aristocracy, one of the uh, main clans there, I mean one of the, you know, I may have um, told you which the clan is but I, I won't say it now because I have had Folks um, with the grandfather of my one of my cousins, and practically he, he told me um, that it, it is not so much of a good idea. Um, I could tell you the reason, but that's not the main part. Um, but practically, yeah, I, I've got some, some uh, literally, I've got some, whom I can, I've got some, some space in Scotland, and I've got a family there. Um, and I can always go there. I can literally live there if I want to. I've got friends all over Europe, um, especially in Germany and Ireland. Very much of them. So that, that, that wouldn't be a problem. I can literally crash uh, in some of their houses uh, easily or for like months. Uh, I have done that. So. It wouldn't be a problem. Also in Netherlands, um, what's the name now? Denmark, etc. etc. I will have friends here and there. And many of them are entrepreneurs, so we can actually work together on many projects. I, I can help their businesses in many ways. I can consult them and I can be doing some of the management. and. We have tried that, it's working. So I, I could easily move from Bulgaria anytime I want. Literally. Tomorrow I want to uh, move, I can. Also, I got some capital. Uh, so I can practically start a business there. But I don't see the reason why would 
uh, though I actually do that because it, it is really the difference is a little bit in, in the infrastructure. But Sofia is one of the most developed towns in Europe if I have to be precise nowadays. You can check that. Many people don't don't know that. Like Plovdiv is, is okay too. Burgas is okay too. Um, like not sure about Varna, but I think it, it's um, in the statistics it's, it, it's still okay. Also, but uh, I would prefer Burgas if it's on the seaside for many reasons. Uh, my personal reasons, I don't say. I don't have anything against Varna. Just uh, I think I'll I'll do better in. Um, and actually got more friends there, um, which is very important for me. Actually, it, it, it's like uh, I think I'm working well, so like people respect that, and uh, I, I'm having business with most of my friends. So uh, I don't, I, I never slack from work, if, especially for friends. It's some people are. When they are working with friends, are working um, like worse uh, than, for example, if they are working for, for some bosses, etc. Et et I'm the other way around. If I'm working with friends, I'm trying to um, to be the best version of myself, literally, to, to show the best I can, because it makes most sense to me. Um, and now, for a sec and now we we had the those like we've had some good time with this friend he's he's here now he's living in germany uh was in switzerland uh, before that maybe he, he was in france for a little while also but uh, he's in germany now and he's once more uh, moving to Munich from I don't know where he, he was now actually maybe a little bit smaller town no, no, not sure but it wasn't like Jon maybe Bern or something like that uh, I can lie about that I, I totally don't, don't remember where he was positioned now I can check later um, but the thing is, and, and he's all, all, always talking about that. So I'm telling my uh, my wife now, well, uh, wasn't that a little bit too much? And she's like, I before that we were talking about several other things, and like uh, she tells me something about uh, one of her job offers, and I'm like, yeah, that's cool, but I, I totally don't don't want to talk about that in this moment. But the time, like, well, it, it's important for her, let's, let's just, let's just um, congratulate her. Because I got an opinion which is a little bit different, so if, if we got a um, sophisticated conversation, a more complicated conversation, I would say, um, I don't agree on 100%, it's, it's the best offer, but she's happy about it, and I'm like, well, congrats. That's cool. Um, what do we have to say? Maybe this guy in the hue. Okay. Um, and I'm like, yeah, let's... Um, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. So, so uh, that there's something about this friend, because we, we met him. Uh, yesterday, uh, I'm like, wasn't he a little bit like cruel uh, about uh, some of the topics and like, um, well, well, extreme, I'll say. And she's like, I don't want to talk about it. And no, no, now I'm angry because you understand. Uh, we have just talked about the topic. I, I got some opinion, but I don't want to actually. Um, literally be, be, be rude about it and I'm like 
um, I congratulate her while when actually I have a little bit different opinion. I'll say something about it. It's, 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 it's a translation related profession, nothing bad about it. I have my doubts, but it's only normal. Nothing wrong about it. Now, what's happening? Happening from here on is that I'm a little bit angry and I'm starting to, to like question if I can go that way because I respect the guy very much, but, but, but he's kind of like he's now talking about my coming daughter. Still not here, but he is like very sure that she will like Europe more than. Bulgaria, for example. And I like Bulgaria, I understand that. It's it's like it's not patriotism even. You know? I, I just I, I just don't think nowadays uh, your positioning in this world if you are online base is so important. Like if she has to travel, she'll travel. That, that, that's not the problem. If she wants to to move somewhere, it's easy. She'll move anywhere she wants to. But um, but she may also like Bulgaria because Actually, I am liking Sofia very much. There's nothing wrong about it. But now, um, he's putting it that way. That actually, there, there might be something wrong, wrong about it. Not really. He respects me, but he's like, I am one of the few people here that, that are successful and stuff like that. And I'm not even that successful. I mean, I'm, I know many, many, many people that are much more successful than me here in Bulgaria, here in Sofia, like, like there are thousands of them, if you can uh, understand that, more than thousands, maybe tens of thousands. Ten thousand, ten thousand for sure, I think. I mean, like... Um, only we are talking only about financial uh, success here. There are many Bulgarian millionaires, multimillionaires, um, big time. Not billionaires, but multimillionaires, big time. Like um, a serious Vietnam um, businesses, people earning like more than a hundred thousand each and every day per day. Uh, that, that's that's like that's like uh, billionaire opportunity people, and some of them are have started getting rich um, not so far uh, in the past. So practically, we may have some billionaires. We have some billionaires already in Bulgaria, I think uh, a couple of them. Um, but also, most probably, we will have much more very soon. And there's strong reason about that. Uh, I had to soak some damage. The magro was on me for a very long time. But anyway, I survived it. So yeah, I'm I'm being open to, to my wife now, and she's actually don't want to talk about the topic because she, she she has something else to do. But I'm also doing something else. I was working out at this moment and was in the same room and I was just uh, telling a few sentences. But she's like. It's a very long conversation. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. I'm just saying I'm a little bit disappointed that 80% of the time we were talking uh, with this yet. Um, 
80% of the time we were talking about the differences in Bulgaria and the, the, the West European countries and I have already told him numerous of times uh, um, actually I don't see so much of a difference I'm like I, I, especially in, in uh, the climate the economic and financial climate in, in Germany in countries of the South Coast Germany is very close to Bulgaria in uh, net profit yeah they're, they're paying more um, taxes much more taxes like 52% and here in Bulgaria it's like around 30% uh, which means, um, yeah, they are having, um, and that, that, that's just an assumption they are having better um, infrastructure, but that it's uh, their infrastructure is failing. If, if you ask me a little bit, but I respect, I respect Germany. That there's nothing wrong about it. It's not so so different because we are growing, and they're a little bit uh, on the other hand of the. Of this, web, uh, of this kind, so that they're a little bit degrading from what they were in the past. Um, or at least, so it seems to me. Um, so, so I'm like, uh, I don't know. The, the, the thing that got on my nerves is, uh, is that he's saying here there are many, many people that are like unworthy, like. Uh, very much factor and there aren't such people in western countries which is so untrue I mean if you have been in Europe you know in each and every first of all Bulgarians are kind of cool I mean if you have been here uh, you know like um, well, I, ha I have to say Bulgarians are better to the foreigners than to ourselves but still Bulgarians are kind of cool uh, there's no much problem in most of the Bulgarians, like, I would say 50% are, are, uh, are just cool, like, they're just enough, uh, they're, they're, they're like, all you need to know about them is, is, is just fine, they're just fine, they're, they're just doing fine, they're, they're, they're doing it, they're cool, uh, chill, they're, they're uh, they are not, not, not the toxic people you don't want to meet. And of course, in Europe there are many, in Western Europe there are many people like that also. But, uh, especially in Germany actually, because I have spent some time in Germany. And there are many, many of those um, assholes and I mean, but they are just assholes. Like, very similar to the assholes in Bulgaria, but in the German way, at least. Uh, um, so... So, so, so like... Um, yeah, about, are you serious about that? Yeah, dude, because you're in the academia, so most probably your colleagues uh, uh, are, um, are very cool and you're getting along with them, but are you talking about all, are you seriously talking about all of the German people being cool, like most of them, 90% of them, and he's telling me about a bad example. Of, of behavior, but but he's still like, yeah, they're, they're like all of them are kind of cool. I haven't seen anything bad in in the behavior of any uh, German uh, people. Like literally, he's telling telling me that it, it, it's like, you know, that, that's so untrue. It, it's, it's like if, if you say in America, all of the people are cool. Like, you understand? It's it, it's like for example, anywhere. It's impossible. Maybe in Tibet or something like that. Maybe, maybe. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a little bit like most of the people can have similar um, like understanding of the things and similar behavior because they're more meditative things of the sort. But we know about the gangs in 
uh, Tibet also so so it, it, it's, it's like because uh, it, it, it's kind of a very poor country on the other hand so but there are people there are bad people there also and it's only normal nothing wrong about it but everywhere in the world there are bad people and especially in 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 Western Europe um, the percentage of bad people is is like very big and there are many cool people many cool girls, guys also for example in if you have been in Netherlands um, it, it, it's like um, it, it's like 50 50 you can uh, there are so many guys that that are just, um, just like very friendly and very 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 chill you, you want to spend more and more time with them because they're just uh, just super chill, super cool. Um, it, it, it's like they're your people. You can uh, become friends with them like for, for days. Uh, maybe maybe even in a day. You can understand that that's uh, a person you like in a day. Um, both genders. Uh, but there are also so many assholes in, in Netherlands and <laughs> it's, it's, it's a known fact, I know. I mean, uh, people there know it. I mean, there are so many people that you don't want to be friends and don't want to spend time around. There are many toxic people. So there are like poor-minded people. There are many different kind of categories of people. You know, it, it, it's not, and, and it's only normal. Everywhere is like that. But but he's saying no, no. Um, actually, the Euro European people, uh, like the the people in Western Europe, are, I I haven't seen bad bad people there. I haven't seen trash people there. I haven't seen toxic people there. Are you kidding me, mate? I've been all around uh, Western Europe, and especially nowadays, especially nowadays, there are so many different kind of like. Wrong, wrong kind of people that I, I don't, I personally don't like, and I'm not a very critical person. You shall know that. I'm getting along with most of the people, and I still don't like many of the people. Like, because it's only normal. I said I have nothing against um, like the people in any country, but there are assholes everywhere. There are bullies. There are uh, like um, people, the chauvinists, you know, uh, all, all kinds and sorts of people. Maybe um, so some people that are a little bit too uh, liberal, uh, in my opinion. I, I mean, too much, too much of it, like showing you uh, in your face. Like uh, I'm kind of okay with those people usually, but here in Bulgaria, they're kind of like most of them. I can understand. They're, they're, if they're showing something in your face, it, it's just because it, it's their person. Uh, that they're it's their business it, it is their uh, persona it's uh, like they're profiting from that um, it, it's related to their career so to speak many of them are influencers and stuff of the sort but um, on the other hand um, there are so uh, many people uh, actually in Western Europe that are, for example, but the, the, the too liberal, I mean that they're like uh, children can uh, choose their gender, I mean it, it's like, okay I'm fine with that, but it's it's not when they're little children uh, maybe later I'm kind of fine with that, maybe maybe later, I, I'm not uh, terribly against that, if, if it's if it's uh, it has to be a personal choice, maybe after they're around 20, maybe because you know um, teenagers have the, those kind of periods that, that, that they're uh, wondering uh, about all their sexual experiences, life, etc. Uh, with gender they pre prefer, etc., etc. I mean, most of the teenagers it is psychologically proven. Uh, have some wandering there and yeah for example I knew I am liking uh, I'm, I'm like straight I'm liking women but um, or girls in 
at this point but but like um, I was also entertaining the, the idea of bisexuality but but not like uh, uh, the, for, for example threesome and stuff like that I wasn't against that at all I mean I was totally um, open to that kind of experiment and I'm in, in the straight way of it I'm not like oh that, that's all bad uh, to two guys with, with one uh, with one girl no, not really. And it was kind of cool for me. So, I have also experienced something of the sort, so to speak, and it's only normal. You, you can even be totally gay. It's, it's, it's. Some people find that, that, that it's it's okay. Transgender. Maybe, maybe, but you have to think about it because you, you can't change that. Like, you can't probably, but it's not so easy. If you are like, uh, at least don't um, how's that word now don't change your gender entirely if you are not exactly on a hundred percent sure if you are sure about it well <laughs> after all it's your body you can do it with everything well, uh, you know that's not my problem that, that's not my bullies are my biggest problem bullies chauvinists people like that that are extreme in their beliefs and there are so many people like that in Germany you know about that there are many many different kind of toxic people in Germany we all know about that it, it, it's not a secret you know uh, it, it, it's like um, uh, you know that as you know that there is a sky and uh, above us and eventually like we may not be sure, but we are, we are perceiving it like that. So yeah, you, you know, that's a certain fact. There, <laughs> there are assholes in Germany. Many of them in different kind kinds of the, uh, the word um, jerks, assholes, dickheads, etc., etc. Like it, 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 it's not. Uh, something you can argue about. Oh my God! You see this tank? No, never made. Are you are you serious about that? And plus 22 with this this kind of it, it's undoable. You just can't survive it. Um. And yeah, so I, I wanted to, to have a little talk with my wife and, and, and be done with it. And I mean, I wouldn't even um, tell the person in the I t told him, I, I disagree with him and there are assholes in, in uh, Europe, but he's not listening. He's no, I haven't seen any of them. And here in Bulgaria, I was uh, about um, to, to change my opinion because yeah that many things are better but on the other hand I talked with the person and um, he was from for one of the political parties and I don't like that so um, so, so I'm changing my opinion again um, Bulgarians are un ad adequate and uh, uh, I'm going back to where I was and he knows my opinion so it is not very cool to put uh, things that way but um, he had uh, drink a little bit more than he wanted to actually because uh, we met some people uh, in um, a village around Sofia it, it was very very interesting because uh, they, they gave him rakia because I was the driver and my wife is pregnant so he was the only one that could actually drink so yeah it's only normal but I wanted to have a little conversation with my wife and just to to, to to ask her for a second opinion and she was like I don't want to talk about that it, it, it's a very big topic I didn't want it to be a big topic like as you're seeing now I'm I'm talking to you for for like an hour maybe but I can I, I had three sentences three easy sentences and I would be finished uh, about it and she just didn't didn't wanna listen to me because it, it was like he he wasn't so right about 
something, something. And I know her opinion is like she is a little bit between um, my position and his position, but um, I, I think she is closer to my position at, at this point. And yeah, we literally had a, a very, very little conversation and we both think it, it's a little bit more personal to him, like it's a little bit, he's reflecting some of his characteristics um, to Bulgaria, so to say, he, he's um, like he, he wants to uh, by somehow separate himself from some of his past and he, he has started a new life in West Europe uh, and, and that's part of the but that's part of the problem, so, so he is a little bit more uh, like a slight extreme, in my opinion. I don't know, I don't know what you think. If you, you can, by the way, I have, s I, 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 I know other Bulgarians that are closer to his opinion, that, that here um, it's like more trashy and in Western uh, Europe it's, it's a little bit more, it, it's just a little bit better. Well, there are many factors I know people that actually failed in, in their lives um, because they moved but they, they weren't prepared. If you understand that it, it, it's not on a hundred percent going to work and yeah most probably if you are an ad adequate person it will work. If you are going for, uh, for an ac ac academia, if you are going uh, to educate yourself somewhere then you, you got, got some future in Europe, it's, it, it's like the system is working that way. But if you are just going to work somewhere in Europe, it's tricky. You might just succeed, you get paid a little bit better, but then again uh, you got to pay uh, in most of the situations, in most of the countries, a bigger rental, like much bigger in, than here in Bulgaria. The prices here are also going skyrocketing, so to say, but, but they're, they're still affordable for a Bulgarian. And if you go there with, with just a few thousand toy, like, I don't know, many people are moving from here for literally with less than a thousand toy or around one or a couple of thousand, like one to three thousand toy, for example, and they, they think they can. Uh, find a job right away. They, they they are not so educated. They don't have so much like that. They don't have the skill set to, for example, start in a marketing company. That they, they haven't um, applied for a job from here. So practically, they are risking it all. Let's take those guys. They are risking it all like on on nothing. And. Um, It will be much faster. Oh, but that's why I'm actually entertaining this. <laughs> I'm proposing, making this proposal, entertaining this. That's the video. Ah, yeah, interest. Eh. Oh, no. That's so very fast. Too fast. I didn't give time to the architecture. So, anyway. And, yeah, she didn't want to, to like, have those two slender senses, of course. Then we had like 20 of them, and it was a considered a fight. And what else? What else? Now I'm here playing this. Two dungeons. This dungeons. And dungeons is an interesting part. Um, so, yeah, I'm talking about that. And we call the microphone and sharing that story because it's interesting. But I don't be extreme, guys. It's like I think even if you are not in a third world country, that's literally so poor that you can't afford. Like if there's internet, if there's a relatively fast internet. Oh my God, this one is. 
a little bit lower that I'm not sure he can but that crook hold. I'll wait a little bit but I think he's not no I don't I don't think I, I'm not taking this guy. I wanna I wanna finish it. Yes. This will be an no. So yeah, um don't be extreme in your position if you ask me okay also everyone has after all his his own right to be extreme even if he or she wants so not sure if it's an European uh, policy so I'm not sure that they're, they're actually giving you the opportunity to be extreme anymore. It's not the same as it was back in the days. Nowadays you you got a little bit less right to be to be wrong. <laughs> so to speak and especially in the extreme versions. Of things. But yeah, on the other hand, you can always choose your weapon and live uh, the way you would like to live. The other thing is that uh, he's literally like uh, on this opinion. Uh, it, it, it got to my nerves a little bit that he's always like I'm not. It's not my fa fault uh, that I'm born in Bulgaria. Dude, it, it, it's not the worst case scenario. Do you understand that? I mean, now uh, the, the the fact that now you're in West Western Europe and you're having your days the the, the way you want it, and it was kind of easy. I mean, you had to work. For it, of course, but everyone has to work for for his like kids kicks in life. And yeah, I don't, don't understand why you should be be so upset about what's happening in Bulgaria. After all, you have succeeded in your in your mission. Like you know, it's it's not that you have failed at all. And you started from here, you, you have to remember that, at least a bit. And if you don't want to remember it, once again, I don't think you have to, to like, put it in the face of your friends that are actually on the opposite opinion. Like, if you don't don't like it here, and then you're coming from time to time. I, I haven't said a word about that for, for, for already years, I'm not saying you, you can come back here. No, I, I know he doesn't like it here, so I'm, I'm totally fine with it. I'm not uh, like some kind of... I don't know, I, I don't wanna uh, have control over that, and I don't wanna uh, even tell my opinion I think my opinion is everyone shall be living where he or she feels most comfortable. I don't understand only the only thing I can't understand is why would anyone um, go in, into someone else's Personal space. Oh, man, I made a big mistake. I just lost around a thousand gold. Maybe because I didn't um, overload the right one. But okay, that was cool. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, and yeah. So, so it, it got me really upset and you know, if you get angry, it's against you. But it, it got, got to me after all. This whole conversation, first of all, with the guy, second of all, with my wife, it's, it's like... Totally wasn't the best experience I have had in a while. Maybe one of the biggest 
fights between us with the wife. At, at least lately. It's not the right time to be having this fight. I don't want that. I don't want that. And I want to avoid that in A hundred percent of the situations if possible. Well, unhappily, it's not so easy. Let's see what's happening with this tank. Did he say something? So, yeah, it seems he had actually. So, it's something. So, yeah, that's, that's my opinion. Of course, uh, you don't have to share it, but I don't think you shall be feeling obligated to move uh, territorially. Uh, of your body bodily in space if you don't feel so because nowadays we got the internet we, we can live anywhere and still be well paid and still make business and still like a uh, uh, live our lives the best we can and at least it's my reality I can I can assure you it's possible now I don't know I wouldn't say it, it's easy and it's, it's not everywhere the same it's, it's like there's a big differentiation so about different realities I know there are some countries Especially in Africa, there are some countries where, where this is not exactly a fact that the people have become a little bit spoiled. Like you can't say Bulgaria is so bad. At all. I mean, you have to you have to visit to understand, but but you can also watch all these shows. Uh, that es especially the big cities in Bulgaria are totally totally west. Uh, you reply, especially nowadays, especially after the years of adaptation to the world, because you know, you, we got the, uh, a very strong communism here, and before that we, we were um, under the Ottoman Empire ruined, they, they weren't so, uh, like, generous to our nation, if I have to be precise. You are enslaved by them actually, so yeah, 500 years and then uh, another 60 years uh, like a communist state, a satellite to the uh, USSR. Not a very pleasant experience, experience either. Our aristocracy was killed. Uh, in the first year when the communists came it, it's an un unpleasant story so if we consider all the facts we are doing just fine and like I told you I don't think you shall be focusing on where your body is nowadays where you are living terri territorially nowadays it, it's not uh, the most important factor if you if you got in, in your country a relatively uh, good social system, I, I think here maybe that that's one of the biggest problems. Actually, here in Bulgaria, the social system is not perfect. Um, no, the medicine is not perfect. 
Uh, many things. Uh, that, that Bulgaria is lacking, but especially when you are young. I mean, you can most probably. I'll say it's it's uh, most probably not a bad option to move. Um, I don't know when, when. If you want to, if you don't feel like, for example, the medicine here will be good enough uh, for you in your case. If you are dependent on it, if you, if you need some a medication of a sort, because I know some people like that, you may move in when, when you actually need that, like in your 40s, 50s, I don't know, 60s maybe. Um, it, it, it's always an option, you know, there's the US, there's uh, Canada, um, there's once again Western Europe, but but I don't understand the reason why you shall move as a very young person, if, especially if you if you don't like that idea that much. I mean, and if you if you feel so, you have to do it. On the other hand, that, that's that's about it. That that topic is so simple. It's um, a matter of personal choice. No one has to stay, for example, in countries like Bulgaria if he or she doesn't want to, even if he or she is born here. And no one has to move just because, like, for example, other people think that that's the right choice. All those things are possible. It's relatively easy nowadays. You are uh, we are uh, officially in the European nations, um, and it, 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 it's, it's like literally you, you can stay for a while in an European country nowadays uh, without any kind of, with just your ID. I think you can even work there for for a few months at least without any kind of visa, without any kind of um, special. Status to your name, and then if you like it, I think it, it, it's not so. If you got an em employer, or you're making business. I don't. I think the it, it's relatively easy just to to um, to continue staying there. I mean, it, it is it's relatively easy for for West Western Europe. Relatively easy. So if you want to do that, it, it, it's always uh, within reach to uh, stay. If you are speaking a language nowadays, with, with all these apps and new ways of learning, um, yeah, the coach, there are so many people that can teach you how to actually learn uh, things faster, for example. and. Uh, there are so many apps that are actually um, making us believe and I think it's true because I have seen examples that you can learn a language for let's say several months to a certain level where you can practically uh, speak it free enough to, to actually move to a country where it's the main language for example and people will understand you, it's not perfect if you, if you are uh, going for a, an academic career, it won't be easy, it will be in your way, you have to learn the language better, or maybe you have to invest a year or so, but it's still within reach, even if you have to start learning, but, but I think you, you shouldn't uh, move to a country where you don't have any of their languages, because you just don't don't need to. I mean, that there are uh, also apps that are good, good translators and so on. Uh, we are living in a world that, that's kind of real, that, that kind of and nowadays. It's, it's easy to move around the globe. Maybe the easiest way, uh, the easiest um, time is now. Maybe it's a little bit harder after the COVID epidemic but it is it's, it's still relatively easy I would say. And yeah uh, if you want to if that's your thing 
you can do it. But if you, if, if it, for example, if, if it's not your thing, you you don't have to feel obligated. It is not the only way, especially in countries like where we we have a very fast internet, and uh, it's a relative. It's, it's still relatively cheap here. It's not very much cheaper than Western Europe nowadays, but. But it's, it's relatively cheap, so you can always, for example, work with or for uh, an American company like, uh, for example, we have American sponsors uh, and in like uh, first company, and it's relatively easy to find those like. You know, most of the money in this world are actually in America, in the USA. So, and you, you, you can also find donation deal, maybe um, some some countries that are not in the Western, uh, in, in the European Union, are also having uh, good, good funding options. Norway, uh, Switzerland, uh, Sweden also sometimes, Nordic countries plus Denmark, uh, you can you can find and try to participate for a, a project from these countries. For example, for example, there are so many ways to to like fix it. But even uh, in, in the place where you are living now, you don't have to move bodily eye, like I said. You just have to make that eye deal. If you, if, if you want to, if you, if you feel so. And yeah, that, that's mainly about it. That, that's my opinion. I, it's simple, it's easy. You don't have to think so much over it. It, 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 it just, it just. Leave me have my opinion. I think it's subjective. I think y you can't actually argue with most of the points I'm making. And once again, I have about billions of times already, I mean like countless number of times I have actually exaggerated that uh, if I would move and I have lived a little bit uh, in Brooklyn, York, I would be moving to, to the USA. There are so many options for me there. And eventually, from the European countries, only Ireland is like maybe, maybe if, if, if it comes to that, the UK, but most, most probably Ireland. And by the way, Ireland has the, the best economy nowadays, uh, except Switzerland. But Switzerland, I don't uh, know. Ooh. I don't know any of their main languages. That was a bit of it. Well, I use this. Um, but in Switzerland, they are speaking other languages. I don't actually know. English is not from, from their main languages, so. I wouldn't go there. I, I wouldn't do that. If, if I go there, uh, I, I have been there. I have, I have like just just been in several meetings there. But um, I know the Swiss people don't speak. They don't feel obligated to speak English. And you most probably can find a job with English, but. Um, it will be hard for you to, to make business there with just English and, and not a 9 to 5 or so. I would say it's my best.
the opportunity to go there. Yeah. Right, best option, I think it's one of the worst, I, I guess. Only if I have um, a pre, so some kind of pre-contract. That's, that's actually making me comfortable. Oh, you know. Ah, it was so... Ah, I feel so good about using from small rules. I hope we don't have a very hard, harsh place in this dungeon. We, we can't actually... do without. Me doing a little bit better than that, but if it goes to that, I'll uh, at least have a reaction to use the other room to put my damage a little bit. It will be just a little bit the same. It's good to, to have the feeling that you got the option to improve your performance. And I won't waste it just like. Oh, what's happening now? If I can do it first of all. Okay, let's do it. Okay. On the fortified week, these guys are actually a little bit good. I have to always do them. You can freely use Oh, you have cooldowns on them also. You don't have to do so, of course. They're worth But on the other hand, uh, as a good couple you don't have to, for example, with your partner you don't have to fight all those kind of things, I mean, it was so simple and easy conversation. We all don't have to go there. It's nothing, I mean. Why did, why did we even... Uh, why fighting her? It's like... Because she's uh, not on the same opinion as me. She's kind of defending him, uh, but, but not in... She's not defending him that he's right. She, she's like... Um, she knows he, he is not right, that, that's not the problem, but, but she thinks my opinion is, is, is a little bit extreme. And it's actually not what she didn't hear me. It's not extreme, it's just like, I think the guy is, is, is putting it in my face a little bit too much. And I don't like that. Oh my god. Okay, that was, that was strange. But we are finishing this boss otherwise so I wouldn't care so much about damaging me for a little bit. The problem is that it could be lethal. But it wasn't so I'm happy about it. With this sword, it is uh, not my best in that kind of thing. On the other hand, I'm feeling very productive. Two 
two many of those guys now and that, that they can permanent on it literally I am I just started to play a little bit I mean I'm start I have started to how to say uh, prepare to remember how to play Dota maybe I'll be doing that if someone is watching now this is up to this point maybe you can tell me do you want that to happen because I am considering several options and that's one of them On the other hand, to finish this topic, if I have to be precise, guys, oh, this is possible, we have now, yeah. In this stage, I, I won't be using nearly more of my cooldowns to... Okay, let, let's, 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 let's just run play. Yeah, anyway, uh, so uh, that's one of the ideas I have to think I, I have different options. And if you if you want to know about my opinion uh, over moving, it, it, it's like, if it's not the, the US way, um, I would do anything not to move. I mean, I, I don't want to move. I like it here in Bulgaria very much. Very much. You, you don't know how, how much exactly do I like it. The economical climate here it is just I'm feeling happy that uh, I was born here. It, it, it's always enough for me. It, it's like one of the best countries. It's like um, South Arabia and Bulgaria would be my first two choices. I'm pretty sure about that. Saudi Arabia is a if I use it, uh, 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 I like Dubai, Dubai and Sofia uh, are the two cities I would like to, to live in and I'm living in Sofia so I'm kind of happy if I consider changing my location it will be um, oh, there are only several places I'm interested in one of them is, is some, some, some small Greek island or um, the coast of um, Greece so some like exotic place and um, yeah with time it is a plus 24 now and I have absolutely no <laughs> chance of doing a plus 24 I think now or they have to carry me for sure even here I was in the 4 DPS after the tank but yeah Greece is an option eventually um, and uh, I, I can get to Bulgaria in like less than an hour uh, with the flight so and with my car for example for, for several hours which is kind of fine because uh, I, I would like to be close to Bulgaria if possible um, Dubai is another place I, I would live in uh, it's just like I've been there I like it very much there I, I have to be uh, if, if I have to be honest that's my opinion it's, it's a beautiful place uh, so, so much I love about this place and then again um it's in in the in the states maybe arizona and and i like new york but i i know it, it that there are many problems in new york now and i don't know if 
I will manage to, to be there. Even as an adequate person, I'm not sure I, I, I would actually be in a good position there. But yeah, I, I, if if I was like very motivated, maybe New York is still still an option. Like I said, Arizona it seems a pretty place. Maybe I'll try just for a few months, maybe maybe buying a summer house there or something like that, something of the sort. Um, will be uh, other options, Canada and Switzerland. But I would like to stay in Bulgaria, in most of the time I, I think it's, it, it, it's precious here, it, it, it's just, I just like it so much. It, it's, it's not only that I'm born here, I just like it, 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 it it's, it's in a very good synchronicity with me. I have adapted well with it and I, I it, it, it's like for example, if you have lived in London, in Sofia, it's, it's very similar. Uh, like many people, if they go to London for the first time, and um, that they're like, "What the fuck? This this city is is like awful. It's, it's I I can't I can't believe it. It's dangerous. It's, there are so many bad uh, things in happening in London. It it's not so easy to adapt. But if you adapt, you you want want to change it." You would li love to, 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 to literally spend most of your time in London. You, you, you wouldn't want to change your location. It, it's the same in Sofia, I, I think, as, especially for me. Like, you know, you know the walls, you know the, 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 the stray dogs. It, it's, it's a different situation. It's a bit of a G mindset, but literally, if you know what you are doing here, it's not a bad city, I, I can tell you that much. I can tell you that much. It's, it, it, it's like, first of all, it's relatively not so big. I mean, two million people, but the, the, like the best people here, like the 1% here, or like let's say the 5% here, know each other. And that's a very big plus, if you ask me. Um, that's valuable of course you, you can if you position yourself among them among them it, it, it's like you're feeling on the top of the world baby <laughs> literally it's it's it, it's a good thing it, it's feeling nice I don't I, I can't say I'm from uh, I'm doing that because I'm not so social I mean Many people think of me as, uh, as an extrovert, but that's because they're, they're, they're too much of introverts. I'm actually um, an introvert who is successfully, there was a type, I, I can't remember his name, but he's successfully putting the mask of, an, max mask of uh, an extrovert from time to time, but I have social batteries. I can be, I can be too social about it for for um, for too long. I'm starting to drink. It starts to. I'm starting to stress when I'm social for t too long, and my nature is becoming more and more chaotic. So yeah, and that, 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 that's what I wanted to share actually. That there are only several places I would live in. I would visit many places. I, I would live for, for a month in many, many, many places. Just just to see what's there. But 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 uh, um, Amazonia, for example, I would, I would literally place that place very much. I like Japan, but I wouldn't live there. Uh, I've been there. I, I don't like it so much. I mean, it, it, it's a harsh climate. I mean, no, not the weather. Of course, like the weather is kind of fine, but um, I, it's a harsh reality. It, 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 the dynamics there, I, I don't like the dynamics in New York. If I have to be precise, everything is moving too fast. I understand that that, that could be uh, a plus, but I, I don't see it that way. Uh, I, I, I like things to be a little bit, a little bit slower than New York and Tokyo, Kyoto maybe. Uh, also, other parts of Japan I haven't tried. Maybe I have to to, to visit some other places um, around there to to see how can I 
cope with them. Can I think of something better? Like to 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 to, to, to raise my opinion, but I wouldn't say I would visit Japan from time to time, but I wouldn't live there for a very long time. It's a little bit like I said, it, it's a little bit hard if you know the language, maybe, maybe but it's it's also one of the minuses is not all of the it, it's very strange I, I i couldn't believe that actually it's not few but not everyone is totally not everyone is speaking english um, like on, on a normal level many people are, are speaking just a little bit but uh, that, that means just a little bit a few words a few sentences especially uh, eventually and it, uh, it's only normal cause cause actually uh, Japanese language is um, so much different from English so and they that uh, some of them have that strange accent that y y you can barely understand what they're saying even if they're, they're uh, speaking uh, well let's say sometimes that they've got this accent that, that is so confusing but of course the young people of course the young people are are better speakers in most of the cases, but not all youngsters are speaking. It's strange, not all youngsters are speaking actually a good English. For example, here in Bulgaria, most of the people like you, you can see from the look of one person, you can see if he or she is speaking Bulgarian, but most of the people, uh, I think most of the adequate people are speaking because you know, most of us are making some money um, with with likes you, you have to use some software so you need uh, English for that cause it's possible maybe to, to work in Bulgarian to, to make your windows operate in Bulgarian stuff like that but it's so cringe I, I can't I can't do that for example I, I, I just can't it's very hard for me to uh, actually operate a system uh, any kind of software in Bulgaria it's, it, Bulgarian, it, it, it's strange the terms are different and it's we have adapted to the English version of things from when we were young and it's totally uh, unnecessary to uh, actually use another language for your but uh, anyway so so maybe it's possible but most of the Bulgarians know English to a certain level uh, and I will say that we have some accent I know, know about that but I know that much but um, I think most of the Bulgarians are relatively good speakers you can understand them and they are understanding you on like 90% um, if you don't have a very very strong accent uh, in English I mean so that, that's a plus and in Japan it's, it's, it's a little bit harder a little bit harder and that's why otherwise I would most probably try it for a longer period like several years maybe two or three years I wouldn't I wouldn't live there uh, for the rest of my life, but I maybe will try it for, for a longer period of time. And now, what what what's left? Um, Japan, we said. I, I would try actually. Um, just just wanna see see what's happening. I haven't been there um, in um, South Korea. Maybe it's an underestimated place. Um, I mean, many people are saying, like I, I'm, I'm seeing it, it, it's around Bulgaria in economical terms. It, it's not a very rich country, which is strange with with um, like top uh, leaders on the market in in several categories. I have some giant companies there multinational companies with billions of profit annually I don't know why they are not so rich but 
explanation, but it, it, it seems so. Um, and yeah, I'll try this country, but I, I don't know anything about it because I haven't been there. I have only watched several uh, series, like Squid Game, Dead Game, I think. That was uh, that game, maybe. And yeah, ma mainly that I have tried watching several other series that it wasn't so easy for me because they were too, like, you know, mm, not my type. Just not my type of. Uh, like, you know, the. The, the script was, was um, it was too romantic for me, but yeah, I, I'm seeing that they're having a good cinema. I'm seeing that uh, they're actually doing fine in so many terms. I, I would try it because maybe it's closer to Bulgarian reality. I would just um, entertain that, that, that idea, for example, living there for a year or something like that. If if I like it. It, it, it's possible, it's possible for me to actually love a country like that. Because if, if I'm loving Bulgaria and so many people aren't, that means it's possible for that to happen for uh, South Korea also. And I can't. Um, I can't say there are many more places I would like to... Norway. Maybe Northern Norway. Just to like um, try the Viking way of life. Because uh, it, it's practically Finland. And Finland, I have been for a very few, literally, days. I'll say hours, because it, it was like I, I was there for, for 36 hours. I have been many times in Oslo and the other thing. But um, in Finland, I, I liked, I liked what what I saw there. I. The climate and you know uh, Iceland was it Reykjavik well, there I I wouldn't live there but I, I would visit once more uh, for sure. What else? What else? So yeah, yeah, I would live like a Viking for a year or so, but I wouldn't wouldn't uh, like to live there for a very long time. So that, 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 that kind of um, fears it all, it's, it's um, conclusive, that was the word I was searching for, and yeah guys, I, I, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be making another video very soon, so I will be happy to see you there, so to speak, on the other side of the monitor. Um hope it was interesting if someone has survived to the end of this video watching me farm <laughs> and does uh, uh, talking so nonsense about me because no one cares I understand that but I actually like watching this kind of videos. There are very few of them in the internet because most of the people understand that so few people care about other people's personal lives and stuff like that. But maybe one day they will care. <laughs> Who knows? But the thing is, like, yeah, I like watching this kind of videos, especially from people that are not extremely famous because or the others you can actually check the internet, Wikipedia or something like that. Uh, something of the sort and for less known people you have to hear their own story, parts of their story and their own 
perspective from them personally and that's what we are doing here and if you are having fights with your loved ones and you are your partner for example in this case you may find that interesting if you have similar questions or, or, or thoughts about different countries and countries and what's happening there are you living in a in a, in a good or, or a harsh reality a related country uh, do you have to move um, are you the only one feeling the way you are no matter how how is that actually happening in what kind of way and stuff like that you may find that interesting so thank you very much about being so supportive guys we have reached around 2000 subscribers already 1.99k to this moment and we're growing stro strong thank you for that and we we'll seeing you around have a nice one, cheers and see you later, bye bye guys.